Good morning, my name is Josh from Cyclone Source, and today welcome to your detailed forecast update for Tuesday the 19th of November 2024. We've got a lot to get through today over the course of this video. We're going to be talking about some heavy rainfall across the southeast of Queensland, severe thunderstorms as well across interior parts of Queensland and up in the central and far northern coastlines of Queensland as well. Some very heavy rainfall expected over the next couple of days. We'll also give a tropical weather update as well and talk about thunderstorms over in Western Australia. All of that plus more coming up in today's weather forecast. If you are brand new to the channel, Channel, please consider subscribing. The support lately has been much appreciated, but let's get stuck straight into things. As you can see, over the last couple of hours, we have had a heavy band of rainfall move across central Queensland, delivering much needed rainfall to much of the central parts of the state and then over into the southeastern corner of Queensland and into the northeastern corner of New South Wales as well. Some much needed rainfall has been delivered there and it has been great to see. Peak rainfall accumulations at in June were 75 millimetres over the past 24 hours. Very healthy indeed. Much needed rainfall for those uh, areas as I have said as well, and rainfall accumulations averaged between 20 and 50 millimetres across a wide swathe that I'm tracing right now with the cursor. The Gold Coast did miss out for the most part on the rainfall. There still were a couple of locations, especially a little bit further north up towards Coomera and Southport that received uh, totals up towards that 30 millimetre mark, but for the most part into the immediate southeastern corner of Queensland, the rainfall was a little bit disappointing through there. There was not much in the way of thunderstorm activity as well, so for those interested in lightning and thunderstorm activity, there really wasn't much to right home about. Some good rainfall made it into the southern suburbs of Brisbane as well, however Brisbane only received about 15 millimetres of rainfall from this event here. Rainfall also quite heavy out towards Dolby and Chinchilla, then heading up towards Kingaroy it was light to moderate later on the afternoon. So some good falls all round across the southeastern corner of Queensland. Fantastic to see, with a much more rainfall expected today as well. As you can see throughout the course of today, we're going to see this rainfall just temporarily ease off over the coming couple of hours before it pipes up again later uh, this afternoon, especially for the Brisbane area. Area. Thankfully for those attending the schoolie celebrations down on the Gold Coast, the rainfall doesn't look to be too heavy later this afternoon and evening. There still will be a few showers around, especially uh, earlier on in the evening, but they should clear out by around 9 or 10 p.m. Showers, however, lingering in the Brisbane metro area into early tomorrow morning. Further inland as well, out towards uh, Meandara and uh, further north up towards Miles and then inland towards Charleville, the rainfall will also be pretty steady and it could be heavy at times as well, especially later on this afternoon and evening. Across a few locations, we will be talking about some heavy falls, especially outside of Roma and Charleville, as I have just said. The falls out there could be a little bit heavier than usual or heavier than what's expected around the other parts of Queensland because they're going to be associated with thunderstorms at times. Thunderstorms as well making it out towards Longreach and even as far north as Winton and then severe thunderstorms look like they could pipe up around the Mount Isa area. Just that typical pulse thunderstorm stuff that's pretty slow moving with the damaging winds, very heavy rainfall and the potential for some medium to large sized hailstones. Steady rainfall as well this afternoon I forgot to mention across this part of Queensland extending into the Brisbane metro area bringing those showers there. But again nothing to write home about. I think the Bureau of Meteorology's forecast dropped to 45 millimetres of Brisbane today. I think that is quite bullish indeed. If I was to put a number on the rainfall for Brisbane at least I'd say between 5 and 25 millimetres. Probably a little bit less than that actually just taking a look at the showers right now. Again, this is Brisbane. Anything can happen here. And we saw it the other day where 100 millimetres fell in just that four-hour period for some of the suburbs of Brisbane. That was completely uncalled for by the forecast models. I think the Gold Coast won't pick up much rainfall either. I just don't see it happening, especially with how the rainfall has been behaving over the last couple of weeks down there. The rainfall doesn't look like it's going to really pipe up there. And that basically does it for southeastern Queensland, at least for the next 10 days. I mean, there really isn't much worth talking about. There are thunderstorms on the forecast into interior parts of the state. And then Friday, we might see a severe thunderstorm outbreak across the southeast. But then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then into Thursday, it looks all calm and collected in terms of the weather forecast across the southeastern corner of Queensland. No thunderstorms, no heavy rainfall to be talking about. It looks like we're going to be waiting until December to see another outbreak of severe thunderstorms across the southeast. Great news for people that are sick of the wild weather and happy for a bit of sunshine to come through, but it will get quite warm. I mean, we're expecting humid days, warm days as well. Now, let's pull it back to Wednesday and head up into central Queensland. We have a lot to get through here, so if you are interested in the central Queensland weather forecast, then up into far north Queensland, which we'll touch on in just a few moments, this part of the video is for you. And especially if you live between Bundaberg and Cairns, including Mackay, Rockhampton, Ogmore, Agnes Water, Gladstone and Townsville, then pay close attention. So from Wednesday morning, 
morning. We're going to be seeing showers and storms pipe up from an onshore flow associated with a weak low pressure system that's expected to tie itself up around Airlie Beach and the uh, Whit Sundays. Uh, this low pressure system will drive ashore some heavy showers and some consistent heavy rainfall as well through Wednesday and then into Thursday. The rainfall not expected to be too heavy until Wednesday night when four locations between Rockhampton and Mackay, especially around the Clearview, uh, St. Lawrence and West Hill area, the rainfall is really going to pipe up to be quite heavy with some heavy showers and storms jamming themselves up along the coastline. Now this is actually quite a different forecast to yesterday. We were expecting a bit of a low pressure system to take a bit of a track line uh, heading down towards Gladstone, then up around Yapoon and Rockhampton, then heading further up the coast. The change has been that this system here is now just expected to sit from Wednesday mid-morning until about Thursday mid-morning just offshore from the Mackay area and just channel this rainfall ashore. And there are some big mountains uh, that line the coast between Bowen down towards about Ogmore and Rockhampton and they are going to cop it. The rainfall is going to get squeezed up against them. Those clouds are going to be wrung dry out of their rainfall and there will be some big rainfall totals, mark my words, between Wednesday 9am and Thursday 9am. Now if I was to kind of make a bit of a guess, a bit of a stab in the dark until Thursday 9am, how much rainfall is expected, especially around the Gargette, Mount Adda and Marion area outside of Mackay. Mackay itself will probably see about 75 millimetres, but those locations a little bit further inland, we're probably talking up towards 150 to 180 millimetres, and they will be flooding with this as well. Minor to moderate riverine flooding, major flash flooding is also possible with the intensity of this rainfall. This is the real deal. This is wet season rainfall that we are talking about now. This isn't just a, a bit of a summer shower coming through or a few thunderstorms moving through here in the dry season. This is the real deal we are talking about wet season rainfall at this time. And considering it is so close now, this is only about 48 hours away from happening and it is reciprocated on the forecast models, all major forecast models calling for the pretty much the exact same thing, especially the GFS. I mean, they're talking about a rain bomb to sit itself up outside of West Hill and St. Lawrence around uh, the Mackay area. Uh, we are really talking about some pretty significant rainfall accumulations here and you can see it here. Like I said, from that Wednesday 9am until that Thursday 9am here, we are talking about some pretty significant rainfall accumulations to really pipe up across this part of the central Queensland coastline. At least 150 millimetres is possible. Not so much on this forecast model here. The real rainfall is going to come through on Thursday. So let's break that down for you right now in great detail. So throughout the course of Thursday, we're expecting the rainfall to really uh, continue to pick itself up, especially into the mid-morning hours and into the late morning and afternoon. We're going to see more showers and thunderstorms really pipe up here. And it's just sitting over this part of Queensland, just south of Mackay. This rainfall is sitting and refusing to budge. Yes, there will be showers extending further down the coastline towards Rockhampton, especially we will see some good to totals there, pr probably about 40 or 50 millimetres over a three-day period. Uh, Agnes Water, Gladstone and Bundaberg will probably be disappointed with the rainfall and all of that rainfall has slid up here but for places between Bowen down towards Ogmore the rainfall is going to be real and it does sit pretty much over the top of Mackay. Now there will be fluctuations in the track of this weather event here and the further north it goes it will bring the uh, majority of the rainfall with it or the further south it goes it will bring the majority of the rainfall with it but it doesn't really change the peak rainfall accumulations because there are mountains extending between Ogmore up to Bowen and anywhere where this kind of rain bomb if you like kind of gets itself set up against there will be some significant significant rainfall accumulations. Now, peak rainfall accumulations from Wednesday morning through Thursday, Friday, and then into Saturday when this rainfall will finally start to clear out are in excess of 250 and 300 millimetres. Mackay expecting about 250 millimetres. And then some of the communities towards the south of Mackay, especially down towards Serena and Timberlands, we're looking at up towards three, 350 millimetres of rainfall. Very plausible as well. I mean, that's completely understandable that the forecast models are expecting that just considering the nature of this weather event here. GFS also saying 250 millimetres. So again, need I really elaborate on the other forecast models? The East Mobif is going to nail this by the looks of things. The rainfall also penetrating decently far inland as well out towards uh, Dysart, some good rainfall out there, and even Mount Stewart up to 100 millimetres possible there. But once it gets, once you get over the mountains, not only will the rainfall become a lot lighter, the rainfall will also be pretty inconsistent out there. Ogmore could see up towards 50 or 80 millimetres of rainfall, potentially up towards 100 millimetres. The rainfall accumulations for Rockhampton as well, about 60 
60 or 70 millimeters but again once you get south of Rockhampton the rainfall unfortunately does become quite disappointing and I know we were talking about some the, or the chance of some big accumulations for Gladstone and Miriam Vale yesterday but in today's forecast update unfortunately I have to cancel my predictions on those for Gladstone, Bundaberg and Harvey Bay the rainfall is going to be on the side of nothing so again don't expect anything 20 millimeters is possible but again don't get your hopes up for any rainfall there Mackay is going to take all of it it's going to steal all of the central Queensland coastline thunder and rainfall uh, literally and metaphor metaphorically there is going to be a lot of falls across there now further north Townsville a bit of a wild card forecast as well with that rain dome probably going to come into full swing as it normally does with weather events like this but still a good couple of drops of rainfall expected there at least 30 millimeters and I'd be surprised if Townsville didn't pick up 50 millimeters as well and then far north Queensland a different ball game altogether up there we are expecting showers to stream ashore and some thunderstorms as well expected Wednesday night and also Thursday night but yeah you can see throughout Thursday afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms streaming ashore and being quite consistent through Thursday and then into Friday morning and as such the rainfall accumulations will start to stack on quite quickly there. Friday and Saturday some great rainfall expected between Innisfail and Tully that rainfall continuing through Saturday and into Sunday and over this period here where we do have about five days of just consistent coastal showers streaming ashore between Thursday right out towards Sunday the rainfall accumulations they really do pile on up here. I mean, you can see Cardwell and Ingham both expecting at least 150 millimetres of rainfall and a good spot of at least 200 millimetres of rainfall just offshore. Innisfail up to about 120, Tully as well up to about 120. But the thing with far north Queensland is that rainfall can get uh, dramatically blown up once it gets itself into some of those mountain valleys, especially around Tung and outside of Tully and Babinda. Those rainfall accumulations, they can triple or 4x what is on the forecast here. So I'd say a good number to expect around the, uh, well, some of these areas here, especially out towards Belinda and Kerr, Babinda, Tully, uh, a good number to expect for some of these locations over this four day forecast period between Thursday and Sunday would be somewhere in the ballpark of about 250 millimeters, but I'd say there will be places picking up 100 millimeters a day over that four day period. So four or 500 millimeters is completely possible. Now this is certainly the real, or the first real rainfall that we're seeing for wet season 24-25, which is again, very exciting to see right on time as well, late November, early December. This is about the time that it normally happens, probably a little bit earlier as well than expected. So again, fantastic to see and very exciting to see as well. Mackay is going to cop it. So for locations between Cairns down to Townsville, make sure you are watching the forecast very closely. So stay subscribed as well for the latest forecast update. There's no better way to receive the latest weather information than from this channel. And then for locations, again, between about Hamilton Island through Mackay, West Hill and Ogmore, or down to about Ogmore actually, expect some very heavy falls as well especially if you live in the mountainous areas outside of Mackay. Some torrential rainfall is expected there. Expect minor to moderate riverine flooding as well. Major flash flooding is also possible, especially from those showers piping up Thursday night into early Friday morning. It is going to be a wet one. And the first real rainfall again piping up here so the rivers are dry they've got a lot of uh, volume to fill a lot of water to take so again this rainfall here will uh, it's unlikely to cause flooding straight out of the gate but the ground is quite dry around here so that flash flooding threat is certainly going to be there stay safe in this i'll be bringing more coverage on this tomorrow morning and i'll give a very detailed forecast update for Mackay on thursday and friday as this slowly unfolds and again if you've got any questions or comments about this weather event or if i've left anything in that so then please do let me know in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as I can. Through interior parts of Australia, I mean, it's very rare we see a weather forecast like this. It is wet, wet, and wet across the Northern Territory, South Australia, and Western Australia. So let's break that down for you right now. Showers and storms pretty consistent over Western Australia tonight. We're going to be seeing a bunch of thunderstorms far up from West Coast Trough and a low pressure system crawling down the West Australian coastline. The hills outside of Perth expecting a couple of good thunderstorms tonight, and severe thunderstorms expected into the wheat belt and parts of the Great Southern. We'll see severe thunderstorms as well dominating the forecast outside of uh, Meekathar into the Gascoyne part to the Murchison region as well late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Showers driving through Perth early tomorrow morning as well and showers pretty consistent around the Perth metro area throughout the course of tomorrow. It's going to be a humid one, quite muggy indeed. Uh, and then that low pressure system will clear away by Wednesday night and taking the thunderstorms and showers with it. Wednesday night actually a couple of good thunderstorms expected to blow through Kalgoorlie. We could see a very healthy front with a lot of lightning for Kalgoorlie and then into the goldfields as well. Some good rainfall there. And I have heard reports outside of Q rainfall accumulations have been around 50 millimetres 
over the past couple of days so the ground out there already saturated and the majority of this rainfall is going to go straight into the runoff filling those rivers up and causing some flooding concerns out into interior parts of western australia more showers and storms possible on thursday around the perth metro area and around the southwest as a whole and then thursday night into early friday morning severe thunderstorms into interior parts of western australia and then next weekend we're seeing these showers and storms move into south australia and parts of the northern territory bringing some heavy rainfall through there uh, also uh, another thing that i would actually like to briefly touch on is uh, the warm temperatures that are expected to be dragged down through south australia victoria new south wales uh, on friday we'll get to that in just a few moments here but those showers piping up across parts of victoria and into south australia on saturday some heavy falls possible up towards 30 or 40 millimeters through there showers also expected through parts of new south wales and victoria on sunday and showers and storms on monday and tuesday into interior parts of new south wales in fact we could see a couple of severe thunderstorm outbreaks across parts of new south wales and victoria on monday tuesday and wednesday the 25th 26th and 27th of november respectively and then the 26th and 27th of november through parts of south australia and the northern territory looking pretty late on in the forecast period then so we will touch on that in a future forecast update but still some good showers and storms are possible through there and that fire danger ratings i mean we have been on top of these for the last couple of days but across parts of victoria this is really cause for the concern again in the wake of some pretty intense fire uh, weather conditions that we had last weekend but take a look at this thursday very high fire danger ratings expected across parts of victoria these have been knocked back slightly from yesterday's forecast update but we still have extreme fire danger ratings around uh, the mildura area expected on friday the 22nd of november so again make sure your fire uh, weather plans are well and truly in action on uh, thursday and friday be prepared to follow all warnings from the state emergency services as well this is just the heads up that some gnarly fire danger ratings and the chance of some pretty good fires are expected on thursday and friday into the northwestern parts of the victorian state before that rainfall comes in on saturday and sunday and cools things down and removes those fire danger ratings across parts of interior victoria and into new south wales and south australia as well Anyways, that basically does it for the Australian weather forecast, but not before we finish, we've got to go and take a look at a Tropical Cyclone Becky. I mean, it's looking a little bit worse for wear today, blowing up some pretty good convection, however, into the interior parts of the Southwest Indian Ocean. I mean, you can see it here, well out to sea at this time, well out of the Australian area of responsibility as well. Uh, by post-analysis, I reckon this could peak, uh, well, it has peaked as a Category 4 strength equivalent of your Tropical Cyclone on the Australian scale, but I mean, the wind observations that the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre was observing suggested that this system could have been a Category 5 severe tropical cyclone on the Australian scale. I think that's way too bullish considering how this system looked at its peak intensity. I'd give it Category 3 or 4 status on the Australian scale. This certainly wouldn't have been a concerning system in the Australian area of responsibility unless it went for land. So again, it was a bit of an interesting storm, certainly something that was worth watching as it moves well out to sea and we're still going to have to wait a couple more weeks until we see Australian cyclone activity. But on that note, that is all that I have time for today as we pan back to Australia. A special share out the channel sponsors their names are on screen right now i could not run the show without them and again their support is much appreciated if i've left anything unanswered especially over in the queensland area about that heavy rainfall that's going to be piping up over the coming couple of days then please do let me know in the comment section down below i'd be more than happy to help you out as well uh, but yeah that is all that i have time for today thank you so much for watching the video to this point and i will catch you all in the next storm goodbye